What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the iCloud lock, aka the activation lock. So there's a few things you want to download first. So first thing you want to do is head over to this website over here. And then you're going to want to download the version that applies to you. So to find out which version applies to you, you go to about your PC. And you just scroll down and it either says 32-bit or 64-bit. So if you're 32-bit, you're going to want to download 32-bit, and 64-bit, you're going to want to download the 64-bit. So I'm 64-bit, so I'm going to download the 64-bit. Um, so we're going to just get to downloading this. Uh, just save it onto desktop somewhere easily where you can easily access it. So before we get into it, I just want to go over a few things. Um, so basically, this uh, bypass is tethered. Basically, you have to do this every time the phone dies. And there is an untethered version. Uh, it's not completely effective, but I will go over it in the next video. For now, we're going to be doing the tethered version. So that means that you have to boot this program and do the bypass each time you let it die. So basically, just don't let it die, and you can use the phone. The second program you're going to want to download is called Belena. The link is in the description. It's a flawless download. It goes quick. Basically, this download is to allow the USB drive that is required for this bypass to uh, become an ISO file, basically a bootable uh, USB drive. So once you have Belenda downloaded, you're going to want to click on it. And once it pops up, you want to click the choose image. Uh, basically, you're going to want to click on the download that we downloaded earlier, the boot rain ISO file. And you're going to want to upload that to the Belena, and then you're going to want to choose the drive that you have, so basically the USB drive, and you just click flash, and it'll take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, maybe less, uh, it'll just write the uh, ISO drive onto the uh, USB drive, making it a bootable hard drive. Some quick things to note before we go forward, um, this bypass actually doesn't allow you to use cellular. Um, there are ways to get past that, and I'll be going over them in the future. Uh, but for now, this is just to get by the iCloud lock. And as I said earlier, um, when you reboot the phone, the phone will be relocked. But on certain occasions, it may not. Uh, this bypass does have some glitches, but it is still a way to make a bricked phone a usable phone. So in a minute, we're going to want to restart our computer. But first, you need to Google how to use a bootable USB drive on your computer. So for everyone, it's different. For me, I have to turn it on and tap F9 a bunch of times. And then it'll allow me to use the drive. For you, it's going to be different. You're going to want to go Google that and come back to this video. So I turned off my computer. And I'm turning it on now. And I'm tapping F9. And I'm now in the boot manager and I'm going to select the USB that I have uh, on the actual device here and sorry about my camera it's just focusing at the moment so once I click this USB hard drive I'm gonna get a different menu uh, the boot rain is showing up special shout out to Apple tech 752 for helping develop this uh, you guys should definitely go check them out so it's just gonna run some code here um, it's basically just booting up right now. We're waiting for the check rain to boot up. And we're almost done here. So before we do anything else, we're going to have to log in. Let me just zoom in for you guys here. We have to log in. So the login is the username is Anon. That's A-N-O-N. -N, and the password is Void Linux. That's V-O-I-D-L-I-N-U-X. And we're now logged in. So what we want to do now is type sudo check rain. And the I is actually a one for the check rain. And now the code will load up and we'll get this page here, which is check rain for uh, the boot mode. Uh, and we want to plug in our iCloud locked device at this point. So here is my iCloud locked iPhone 8 plus. I'm going to click start. I'm going to click next. And it's going to put the phone into recovery mode. Uh, basically recovery mode is the mode that your phone would be in if it needs to be restored with iTunes so we're just gonna wait for there we go it's in recovery mode now 
And now we have to put it into something called DFU mode. So you're gonna to want to follow the instructions on your screen. You press the home button and the volume button for five seconds together when you click start. And this is different for phones with uh, home buttons. So iPhone 6S, you'd still click the home button. All the other phones you wouldn't. We're gonna hold that for five seconds. Then we're gonna release the power button and hold the volume button for 10 seconds. Now, it is worth noting that um, once this occurs, you may get an error the first time or the second time. I insist that you keep on trying until you are successful. Uh, if you are getting repeated errors, please change the USB port that you're using or make sure you're using an Apple original USB cable. Uh, it does make all the difference. So I really encourage you guys to do that. And now that we're all done, the check rain has booted up on our device. We saw that that worked. Checkrain has confirmed that it's done. We're going to want to restart our computer and go back to Windows. Once our computer is turned back on, we're going to head over to rfpfile.com and download this file over here. Um, it'll lead you to a Google Drive document and we're going to want to click uh, download on the Google Drive. Obviously Google Drive does not scan for viruses, which is no big deal because uh, I've downloaded this and I can guarantee you that there is no virus. Uh, FRP file is also a developer of this software. Uh, you guys should check him out as well. He does a great job. So I'm just downloading the program right now. And if you don't have WinRAR, you're going to want to download WinRAR. Uh, I'll include that in the description as well. It's just a zipping and unzipping tool. It's very useful. Um, so we're going to get this downloaded here. Now we're going to go to the file. We're going to right click it and we're going to click extract files here and we have to extract but there's a password so the password is so the password is frpfile.com it's also on the website uh, beside the download link so once we have that download we're going to want to uh, get that extracted in the same file and when we have that extracted there's going to be two options there's going to be two folders one for 32 bit and one for 64 bit so you're just going to want to click on the file that uh, applies to your computer and for 32-bit, um, you have to click on the other folder, and the iCloud bypass tool will be located inside that folder. So there's two folders in there. Once you have that up, you're going to want to click on, depending on which uh, software your phone has, you're going to want to click on that software. So if your phone is iOS 12, uh, you're going to want to click on the first one. If it's 13, you're going to want to click on the second one. Um, if you don't know which one it is, you can try clicking both. Uh, this program always gives me an error, but as you're going to see in a few seconds, the iCloud bypass still does go through. So if it does give you an error, please don't freak out. Keep your device connected uh, and you can keep trying. As long as the check rain worked earlier, this uh, tool should work. Uh, it, it always does for me. I haven't had any issues with it. It is a pretty good tool, well made. And there we go, the iCloud bypass has been done. So let's go to our phone and let's see what's going on on our phone now. So now we're gonna go through the activation lock as we usually would. So we're just gonna try and activate the phone. Um, you're gonna notice that there is no activation. So basically you can just go through the settings and it'll take you right to the past the activation screen. Uh, if it still does take you to the activation screen, you can try again. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, I will be answering the comments. I want to help you guys out. This process is fairly easy, um, but everybody seems to be coming in contact with different issues. Uh, for me, I haven't had any issues with this program. This is by far the easiest way I've found to do it. Most other boot rain programs are a little more difficult, so definitely would recommend using this method.